Hi guys, the last video in the saga of Grub update. Grub 322. We'll remember it for years to come. There are already three videos online, and this is number four, and this is actually more for ISO builders or people who want to learn more about a specific functionality that Arch Linux Pacman provides, and it's called Hooks. So Pacman, if you go and have a look, there is information about your package manager. The only thing I can say is read it, right? Take time to just read it. And if you're sitting somewhere waiting for something, read. The LPM hooks, what is an hook? So all of this information is definitely reading material. And here you have Manjaro and you have more videos. There is so much information so basically we're gonna we have already a hook now check out also the hooks that we have um, on our own system let's see if i can find the link that i'm looking for i don't think it's in here let's see hook yeah it is so go and have a look and see what's inside this folder. All kind of hooks are there. And from it, by reading it, you'll get the, the, the feeling, ah, that's what I can do with it. Now, grub, right? Back to grub. What did I do? If you update your system today, then there is this grub 322. That's, you need to do something, right? In the future, I'll remove the 297 and then the update will come in automatically. Today, you have to actually tell him, am I ready to do this? Now automatically, with this Pac-Man hook, it will be automatically fixed. So that's the advantage of the hook. You tell to Pac-Man inside this folder, in hooks, you tell him to do some stuff. And this is the new guy, grub hook. Grubhook says the trigger is if you upgrade the system, Grub is updated, the package Grub, then display for the user, reinstalling Grub bootloader, when? After the installation. And this thing, we've done that thing. Install Grub EFI. That is now an alias in case we need it. So sudo grub install, user bin grub install, target 8664, EFI directory, boot EFI. So it's the same thing, but we can't use aliases inside hooks. So the complete line with the complete path. So we can't make any mistake. That's the one we want. So basically, if you tell the system, yay, give me grub. And out of my head, because I've been testing it all the time, it's number 60, you get 322 in. So that's now something you have to do. Again, if I remove the old package from the Arclinx repo, and it's gone, then the 322 call will come in, come in automatically. And we'll do that in a few weeks time. So what will happen, if you upgrade the package grub, do this and show this to the people. And only do this with EFI. So that's something I've done in the package build. Only do this with people that have EFI. And again, that is explained as well. Arch Linux EFI. If you wanna learn more about that, that's here and you read again. And in here somewhere is a folder that's supposed to be there. I think it's this one, right? And if it's there, fine. Then I'm on UFI. So basically that's what it's doing. It's saying, okay, in, in the package build, right? You don't see it. I'm just explaining that in the package build, I've told them if it's bias, remove the hook. 
only in UFI, keep the hook. So that's why we have it here on the UFI. How do I know, know that I have UFI? Type tough and you see boot EFI. Simple. So voila, summary. Everything is done automatically. You can forget to type. If you forget to type install, uh, let's do the alias one more time. If you get to type this one, grub UFI, no problem because we have now a hook. So that's more something for developers and such, but why not make your own hooks for other things and other projects and other ideas that you have. So voila, that's it. Have a look at all these. Have a look at the, the ones that have that are already on your computer. Oh, user, share, and then I think lip and something lip all pop M. And just read them, right? All the hooks. All right. Cheers.